What's up everybody, Smooth Cosplayer here, your favorite salsa dancing cosplayer. Halloween is upon us. Now, a lot of people would assume that cosplayers love Halloween. And most, most of the time you'd be right if you assume that. A lot of cosplayers love Halloween. Uh, a lot of cosplayers got into cosplay because of Halloween. They love uh, the atmosphere of Halloween, of uh, dressing up as anything or dressing up as their favorite characters. And cosplaying and going to conventions gives them the opportunity to do that. Uh, year round. Now, there are some cosplayers who don't get so fired up about Halloween, and I am one of those cosplayers. Now, I, I don't hate Halloween. I like Halloween. I, again, I just don't get as excited about it. And there are a lot of reasons why I don't get as excited about Halloween as many other cosplayers do. One of those reasons is the amount of uh, unexpected pressure you get uh, as a cosplayer when your friends, your family, and co-workers know that you're a cosplayer, uh, they kind of expect you to come with it or to, to bring it, so to speak, when you uh, dress up for Halloween. Uh, now, me, I tend to go a little low budget on Halloween when it comes to uh, dressing up uh, for a lot of different reasons. One reason being that uh, a lot of my costumes are not popular characters. Uh, as I've said in some videos before, I tend to take the road that's traveled with the characters that I cosplay. I don't do a lot of um, popular or hot characters. And that's not, again, that's not to diss anybody that does. So what that means for me is I don't have, I don't have one cosplay that is a guaranteed surefire everybody at the party is going to recognize this character. And a lot, of, a lot of my characters, a lot of my cosplays are of characters that just aren't aren't mainstream. So if I take, if I wear one of those costumes, no matter how good that costume is, if I wear one of those costumes to a Halloween party, nobody knows who I am. And it's not that I want to be recognized. It's not that I want the attention. But I just don't want to spend the 90% of the party explaining who I am. That just, that gets tiring after a while. So that's one reason I don't really go all out for Halloween. Um, Another reason is that a lot of the Halloween parties I go to end up being salsa parties, dance parties. Uh, so I need to wear something I can dance in. And I've actually, I've run out of uh, costumes that I can dance in that I haven't worn to a, a salsa Halloween party yet. So another, speaking of that, you know, if I go to any party, it's also otherwise, you know, I might have certain props that I have with me and I don't trust everybody to not you know, run up my prop or or break my stuff when I take it to, to certain uh, parties. Like if it's a random, you know, regular civilian uh, costume party, then you know, I'm I'm not I'm not taking my stuff there. I don't I don't I don't trust everybody with that. Then of course there are the costume contests. Now, I I've only entered a couple and I've gotten pretty tired of it. I'm I'm not interested in entering. First of all, I'm not really interested in entering uh even cost even cosplay uh contests just because i'm like unless it, if there's not money involved i don't really i'm not really interested like i don't care for the accolades i don't care for the recognition i'm just like hey if, if there's money or some other prize cool if not then i'm not really interested i've actually entered a few uh costumes at work my current job and my previous job have been pretty good about you know letting people dress up you know as long as everything's appropriate and doing like uh, costumes or whatever. I've actually won at least two, maybe three $50 Amazon gift cards. So that was pretty, pretty good. Outside of that, I'm not really interested. And, a lot, and that's a big frustration for a lot of other cosplayers. A lot of cosplayers end up going to uh, a random uh, Halloween party and they enter the costume contest and they're disappointed when they don't win because the costume contest isn't judged by um, off of craftsmanship or uh, creativity, uh, who ends up winning ends up being whoever, like sometimes it's a popularity contest, uh, whoever worked it or strutted their stuff the most when they are um, when they get called out front to get judged or the sexiest costume wins. And that, I'm not against sexy cosplay at all. I support sexy cosplayers. I'm just saying that that's something that I've heard people complain about uh, when uh, they end up not winning a costume contest oh somebody who you know wore a party city costume one or somebody who just wore a bikini one or, um, so there's all those different reasons why some other cosplayers get mad that they didn't win that costume contest at a at a halloween party 
I, I don't agree with all of those reasons. My particular ones are just, it ends up being a popularity contest. It ends up being who shredded their stuff the most, you know, as opposed to whose costume was good. So people have their different reasons as to why they don't like uh, costume contests at uh, Halloween parties. Oh, another thing that happens uh, for Halloween is that when people know you're a cosplayer, uh, people will, and this hasn't happened to me yet, um, well, it kind of happened in in passing like halloween had already passed and uh a family member uh said oh yeah i should have asked you to borrow your your jango fett uh costume and i, and I just kind of laughed it off because we were you know it, it just really wasn't a, a big uh he kind of said it in passing so i was just like let me just not even go there but i am not a big fan of uh letting people borrow my costumes um that's, and no, no diss to anybody who does. I know there are people who do that. I know I have friends who have let their friends, um, well, they were other cosplayers, so that, that's one thing. But they let their friends, uh, they'll swap costumes. Um, that's just not my thing. Um, the co costumes for me, they are a personal thing. Um, like, and especially if I put it together myself, I may not have made it from scratch, but if I assembled all the pieces together, if I did all the hard work of finding this piece and that piece, putting it together, that's my creation. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not letting somebody else wear that. Um, I'm open to letting people borrow from props. Like if it's a, uh, it, depends on, it depends on a lot of things. It depends on uh, how expensive or how easily attainable the prop is and how much I trust you. And also whether or not we're actually cosplaying together. Like. I'll let somebody borrow a prop if we're doing a group cosplay together. Like uh, every time I do uh, Sith Jafar, uh, Royalty cosplay cosplays with me and she does uh, Sith Jasmine. So I let her borrow my lightsabers. Uh, she's actually let me borrow a prop before and, it, it, and I ended up buying that same prop later on so that I, ne so that I didn't have to borrow it again. Um, I've done that same thing with other cosplayers and other group cosplays before. So like if you're cosplaying with me and you need a prop, I got you. If I know you and I trust you and you need a prop that is not too expensive or if I or it's one that's easily replaceable, I got you. But if it's nobody's borrowing my um, my snakehead uh, uh, Jafar staff. Nobody's borrowing uh, the Prince guitar that I made. Nobody's borrowing um, my Napa uh, armor that I spent like $300 on yeah that's that's not happening so yeah like people will ask you to borrow stuff for Halloween and for again that hasn't happened to me yet but I'd be like yeah no nah. I'm just of the mindset of I spent too much I spend too much money or and or too much time putting this thing together to let somebody borrow it take it to a regular Halloween kind of, uh, Halloween party and I don't know nobody there I don't know what kind of party it is. I don't know how to, how wild they get. I don't know what condition my costume is going to come back in. The other thing that happens, this hasn't happened to me yet, simply because I am not, uh, uh, I'm not good at sewing. I'm not good at making things from scratch yet. I'm not good at uh, phone smithing yet. So this hasn't happened to me. But I know of a lot of cosplayers who make costumes, and somebody will like it be a family member or a friend who will ask them to make a costume for them. One that asked them way too late, like within a week or or a month or something of Halloween. And two, they lowball them on the price. Like I've seen them say, hey, I want you to make this this super elaborate Iron Man costume and I'll pay you $50 for it. Er? Like, what? <laughs> and it's, it's an ignorance is bliss kind of thing. Not ignorance is bliss, but it's more of a, people just don't know what they're asking for sometimes. Like they don't realize how much effort and time and uh and all of that and money that goes into making some of these so some of them just don't know and some of them really are trying to lowball you uh but, but in either case you know that is something that a lot of cosplayers go go through um but yeah that is one reason why some of us you know we may not we may not hate halloween we may still like halloween but that's a reason why a lot of us don't get as fired up about it as some other people do but yeah if um if you're going out or staying in or whatever you're doing for Halloween today, uh, please be safe. Please be careful. Uh, I want to see y'all be uh, live to see another Halloween. Um, I definitely want y'all to still have fun. I know we all been cooped up and restricted and all this other kind of stuff uh, due to COVID, but 
you know, you got to have your fun somehow. I just want you all to, you know, to be safe out there. All right. That is it for me today, y'all. Uh, y'all have a good time and have fun and be safe at whatever thing you do with cosplay right now. I know we're not, you know, conventions are canceled and all of that. So whatever you end up doing, whether you do a, a socially distanced photo shoot or get together, whatever you're doing, please be safe. Have fun. Good luck on your cos uh, cosplay builds. Uh, please hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.